guys, welcome back. I have an Amazon haul of sorts today. I'm excited about it. I haven't done a haul in a long time because obviously we're not going out shopping, but this is an online haul and it's not so much a haul, but a favorites, uh, specifically items that my family has been really enjoying in this time under quarantine. We're all doing online shopping to get a lot of our supplies right. And so I've been relying on Amazon, like so many of you, getting products. And these are items that have just kind of brought joy and cheerfulness into our home. You know, it's the little things right now. Uh, so I'm gonna share with you some of those things right now. Uh, the first and probably most important item is these Nespresso pods. We have drank Nespresso for a while, so it's not anything new, but we have been buying them in bulk. My husband is working from home. We're all at home all day long, and we are huge coffee drinkers, so we are going through this like crazy. Uh, and I really appreciate that I can order this from Amazon in bulk. I get like a big package of them, a 50 count, and they're still delivering these very quickly. I know for a while it was hard to get items delivered fast, but this is still consistently coming two, three, four days days we can have it at our doorstep and if you've never tried Nespresso coffee it is delicious you do have to have the specific Nespresso coffee maker it's not something you can buy and use with a regular coffee machine but if you were considering trying this out I definitely recommend it we love them we love all the different flavors it's a great product uh, the next thing is this bubble bath. I am a huge bubble bath person and I've been taking one every single night after my daughter goes to bed. And my daughter also loves bubble baths. She wants bubbles in every single one of her baths. And we both are loving this product. Uh, I think it's fairly new. I only started seeing it in stores uh, like after the new year. It's Dr. Teal's and there is a bunch of different scents and you can get this on Amazon all the different scents this one is eucalyptus uh, but I've tried a bunch orange is my favorite there's a really beautiful rose one a lavender one but they're all really wonderful scents and the thing I like about this is it's really foaming a lot of bubble baths I find um, they don't foam up like a lot and this gives you a lot of bubbles which my daughter likes but it's still like a great quality product it's not like a kid's bubble bath it's something I can enjoy as well and I think you can get this on Amazon in like bulk packaging like in two packs three packs I'm gonna link below everything I talk about uh, the next thing is a waffle mix I know we're all eating a lot of comfort food uh, and so I wanted to give this waffle mix a try it's called golden malted I have meant to buy it for a long time because this is reportedly the brand of waffle mix that the Disney company uses in the theme parks uh, so it tastes like the Mickey waffles you can get at Disney World and I got a nice big bag here and it was really nicely priced this is a company that's been around for I want to say like a hundred years so they know what they're doing and um, they sell this at Williams Sonoma and that's where I thought I had to get it from and I went on the Williams Sonoma website and they didn't have free shipping and they were selling it in little packages and I found I thought it was a little pricey for a little package so I said let me see if Amazon has it and they had it at a great price free shipping if you're an Amazon Prime member obviously uh, and yeah it's really excellent I recommend trying this if you want to up your waffle game uh, this is a product that I heard about from another youtuber Blair Lamb I love her channel and she was talking about this product and I decided to give it a try it's called true lemon and it's these little lemon packets they kind of look like sugar packets and it's like it's basically crystallized lemon like dehydrated lemon and it's meant to put in your water and so I love lemon water but I don't always take the time to cut up a piece of lemon and put it in my water or you know we're all having trouble getting to the grocery store right I don't always have a lot of fresh produce so this is a perfect alternative it's really quick I can put it in my water and it encourages me to drink more water which we all we need it all the time but definitely now we should be taking care of ourselves uh, and this comes in a bunch of different flavors lime orange I got the lemon and I want to say it was maybe four dollars for a pack of a hundred so really good price and I'm loving it I think if you like lemon water and you also consistently forget to cut yourself up fresh lemon give this a try it's a great way to get more water in your system this is something that I am so happy to be able to find on Amazon it's these little individual packages of almond milk and I have stocked up on this I have a bunch of boxed almond milk in my home because like I said getting to the grocery store can be difficult sometimes you get there and there are out of what you need having a stock of a dairy product that does not go bad that's kind of the key it's this boxed stuff that I put in the pantry in the back if we run out of dairy product we can make our coffee with this I can give my daughter her cereal with this it's just such a relief to know that I can get something like this on Amazon and you know Amazon delivers a lot of grocery products through like Whole Foods and 
fresh direct but this is not through one of those services this is amazon delivers this so you the thing with like amazon pantry or some of these amazon grocery delivery services you have to meet a certain price threshold to be able to get it delivered and they don't deliver to all areas but this is just an amazon product you can put it in your amazon cart and it'll be delivered to you and i haven't always been able to find like this is silk brand i haven't every time i look for an almond milk product they kind of have different things in stock so i've tr i've tried like i got boxed khalifa farms i think that's how it's pronounced i don't know but it has been a blessing in our household to always have dairy stocked away i know that won't work for everybody not everybody likes almond milk but we'll drink it and it's just fine for us this is one of my favorite finds. Uh, actually, I brought a cold one up because I'm going to crack it open and drink it now. This is a new brand of seltzer that I recently discovered. It's called Spindrift. I don't know, maybe it's been around for a while, but if you like seltzer, you should definitely give this a try. I found it like after the new year at Target. That's when I started drinking it. Uh, but now if you go on Target.com, you can't get this shipped from Target, but Amazon will ship it. Um, and the thing I love about this seltzer is it is more flavorful than any other seltzer I've ever tried before. So this is the grapefruit uh, flavor. I really love the grapefruit. It has a little bit of juice in it. That's what makes it have flavor. But it doesn't have like added, it doesn't have sugar or anything in it. It's still a low calorie, sugar free, carb free drink. That is just amazing. I love the grapefruit. I love the lime. I love the blackberry. I'm going to link some of my favorite flavors below. So if you are a seltzer fan, I am. I drink so much seltzer. This is a really great brand to try. Um, I got a big package of padded envelopes and now that might sound silly, but let me tell you why. I live in a different state than all of my family and so I constantly send stuff to my family and I'm not going to the post office right now. If I want to send something, I want to be able to send it in like a flat envelope, put a few stamps on it and be able to send a card, maybe a little picture that my daughter drew, to send it to her grandparents, to my sister. You know, I still want to be in touch with people, but I'm trying to limit going and doing errands, right? I, I don't want to just go to the post office because I want to send a, a little picture to somebody. So I got a huge stack of these padded envelopes and I like them because they are small, but still big enough that you can fit a few things in them. I like that they're padded. So if I put anything in there that I don't want to get crushed, it gives it a little protection. And it was a great price for this huge pack. I, maybe it was $10 for 20, I don't know. But um, this is the kind of thing I would normally buy at the Dollar Tree and I'm not going out to the Dollar Tree. So this has been a great quarantine item for us. I can send all sorts of stuff and stay in touch with people. Uh, this is a clothing item and I feel a little weird sharing this, I don't know, but I wanted to share them because these pants are amazing. They're loungewear. I'm gonna try to make it so that you can tell what they are. They're these like really wide leg and they almost are kind of like yoga pants because they've got that band that yoga pants have. Um, so they sit like yoga pants at the top, but they're not tight at all. They're nice and big and flowy and I am in love with these pants. Um, I got them and then I went online and I ordered a second pair. They're really reasonably priced. They're like under $20 um, and they are so comfortable. And what I like about them is it's the ultimate loungewear because I can wear them to, like I can take a bubble bath, put them on in the evening, lounge around the house wear them to bed and then i can wake up and i still have like pants on and if i have to run out and walk the dog you know i'm still wearing clothes i don't feel embarrassed if the neighbors see me they don't look like pajamas but they're just really excellent lounge wear if you are looking for an alternative to like a legging i love the big leg so i'm going to link those below um and that's it for the like physical items but i also wanted to talk about other amazon things i'm enjoying books and movies and TV shows. We all are looking for entertainment at home, right? So I'm gonna share some of the stuff I've been watching. Uh, for TV and movies, a lot of this stuff is gonna sound the same. It's a lot of British stuff. Uh, but Lucy Worsley, I think I'm pronouncing her last name right, she's a British TV presenter and I've watched a lot of her specials before in the past, but she has a ton of specials on Amazon Prime that you can watch. And she does things like she takes you through Tudor history or I just watched something she did on um the different czars of Russia leading up to the end of the Romanov dynasty um just really interesting stuff like that and she's so watchable it's not you know it's history but it's not it's not boring at all she's very watchable and she's a ton of specials and she did she had a, a series um that's available on Amazon that was like different British like British mystery I don't know it talked about real British mysteries like Jack the Ripper and then just British love of mystery like Agatha Christie which brings me to my next thing but anyway I absolutely love her as a presenter she has a ton of stuff if you search her name on Amazon 
all of her stuff will come up. And so I did mention Agatha Christie. I'm a big fan of Agatha Christie books. And during this quarantine, I have discovered a whole world of Agatha Christie films and TV shows. And I am like eating it up. I'm going through them so fast. My favorite I've watched on Amazon is Ordeal by Innocence. It's It was filmed recently, like just a few years ago. So it's not a modern take it's still set in the era of Agatha Christie but it's just done really really well it's it's movie length even though I think it premiered on BBC on like a TV station but it's film length it has an amazing cast Bill Nighy Matthew Good who I love and then there was this actor who's in it I kept watching him and he was great I was like I know him how do I know him and I googled him and he um was in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in the West End and on Broadway where I saw it and he plays Scorpius and if you saw that play or you read anything about it if you're interested in Harry Potter and you read reviews you know that he was a breakout star from that play because he was so excellent so it's a really really great movie another one I loved was ABC Murders ABC Murders is one of Agatha Christie's more famous books and it was adapted for TV a few years ago it was starring John Malkovich as um, Hercule Poirot and it's a really great film it was done really really well and then Poirot speaking of him I knew I had heard of this but there was there's been a whole tv show of Poirot episodes for I think going on 15 years uh it started in the 80s it went up through the 2000s so there is a whole host of Poirot little mini series films to watch and they are great um I watched one Death on the Nile which is a really famous Agatha Christie book and it's starring Emily Blunt she was great in it these there are shows because they were on like British TV but they're film length they're like an hour and a half really really great a lot to go through I'm trying to catch up on them so that's what I've been watching oh and a couple other things White Queen and White Princess they are shows that were adopted from Phil Philippa Gregory books and I love her books I have read almost all of them I think and these are two really wonderful shows I watched them when they came out I think they came out on stars a couple years ago but they're both great uh and now they're available on Amazon Prime I think they're free if you have an Amazon Prime membership. Yeah, so I rewatched both those series. They're really great. And then I rented or bought, I don't know, Invisible Man. I've been really enjoying this series of like movies that were supposed to come out in theaters that they're coming out for you to watch at home. And Invisible Man was one. And it was like, I was like, I don't know if it's for me because it looked a little scary. But I rented it or bought it and it was great. I loved it. It was a thriller. I, I screamed out loud at one point, but not like scary. Really well done. I liked that. And then for books, I'm really into mystery and British stuff, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I've been reading, I, read, I just finished two different mystery books, The Escape Room and The Other Misses. They're both really just easy reads, which is, I'm not trying to overtax myself right now. Easy reads, great mysteries. I'm going to link them below. Those are my Amazon favorites. I would love to hear what yours are. If there's a product you would recommend, if there's a movie I should be watching, let us know in the comments. Uh, and let me know what you guys thought of this video, if I should do more of these kind of quarantine favorite videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button. I do videos every single week and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.